Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer with another video for Angular Material series. This time we will use a card component from Angular Material. Before we start with this video, I would like to point you my own website where you can find my own tutorials and courses that I have on, well, YouTube, Skillshare and Udemy as well. Make sure to also sign up for my newsletter so you could get also an amazing discount for all of my Udemy courses as well. So first of all we will use a card component from material. This component itself has a variety of different options that we can use and you will see those in this video. So on my screen right now you can see well how the end result of this video should look like. First thing first, now we will generate the component where we will store our card well from material. To do that run a command of ngg for generate c for component and we will generate our card component in components slash card folder. Once the component is generated we can go into our own app component.html file and let's make sure to render it here. First of all I will have, uh, hide this button component from my own well last video. If you wish to check that video you will have a link down in the description of this video as well. So after this button component I will put card uh, comment and here let's use app card element which should render our own card component. I will also put end of card as a comment here as well and that should be good enough to render our card component that we just created but as we wish to use a card component from a material we must import the well a corresponding module for that so first of all I will move my own card component here to a top and here I will import mat card module and I will import that from at angular slash material slash card and that should be good enough. Also just make sure that you also pass this mat card module in your own imports array here. To use now card component from material I can simply open my own component for a card and inside first of all I will create the div which can hold a style of width 500 pixel then margin could be 50 pixel top and bottom and auto for left and right. Card component from material is quite easy to use. So to use it we can just use mat card element which should render well card on our screen. Also we can pass some text here like card in a div. That's good enough. Now if you would visit your local host 4200 you should see this well uh, material card rendered on your screen. And this is just a simple card. I also mentioned at the beginning of this video that we will use different elements well that are going quite well with this card itself. And now let's move to that part where we will create another card with additional options. So going back to my HTML here I will copy and paste my div and now I will remove this card in a div text for my second card that I have and here we can use some of those options. One of those could be mat card header as an example and this mat card header could also have different options like uh, I can create a div here and I can pass a mat card avatar this is a uh, well uh, mat card avatar is the attribute from material which will create a kind of profile image of this card and I will also pass a class here of profile image because I wish to style this later in my CSS. Still in this header I can create for example mat card title and pass like Shiba Inu here and next to our title we also have an element called mat card subtitle and here I will just pass a text of dog breed. After my header I will create one image to be inside of my card and I already made it sure to have at least one Shiba Inu image here so I will link that image right here in my source of my image. Here I will go into assets slash image slash Shiba Inu and here we can put the alt text of photo of Shiba Inu. As I'm using here my own me image you can pass well image that you wish here but after the image itself I will use again material element of mat card content which stands for a body of this card well a content for a card itself and to this content here I will just paste my paragraph here for a Shiba Inu so I don't type this out and the last thing after content I can also use mat card actions here which is additional uh, well uh, 
element here that we can use from material, which, well, mostly it is used to render some actions, like some buttons. So, as you already used buttons from the last video, you should know how to use it here. We can create a simple button, we can pass math button attribute here, and button could say like, like. And let's create another same button, which will say share. And we do still need to style this avatar, which is our own profile image, so go into CSS, and here just make sure to grab your profile image, well, class, put the corresponding background image, which is the same as my own Shiba Inu that I already used, and I will put the background size to be cover. And I just forgot here for my image itself to add a width of 100 pixels, so the image itself don't go outside from my, well, material card. We can test this now, so go to your own local host, there you should see your Shiba Inu card, and it looks, well, quite nice, and it also uses a material UI, well, material design. And that's pretty much it, this is everything from card component, well, from Angular material. Once again, make sure to visit my website, where you can see all of my, well, tutorials and courses as well. And this will be all for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw, please click like and subscribe, as I'm posting a new content weekly. Thank you once again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.